Hello, Mike, a.k.a. UK Wolfman from the Watch Freaks Forum. would like to bring to you this short uh, video presentation on the Torgoan T32 series automatic pilot watch. The full written review will be published at watchfreaks.com and I will have a link to that review um, posted below the video once that is um, live on the forum. So I definitely would like you to check that out because there's going to be some things that that I'm going to cover um, in the written portion that that I won't um, won't pick up on in in the short video. Um, would like to um, point out once again this is Torgoan's first automatic watch. Um, the T32 um, was made to commemorate General Billy Mitchell's founding of the U.S. Air Force. So it has some, some historical significance to it. You can go to the Torgoan website and um, read up on that a little bit more, a little bit about their history as well. So, let's, uh, let's get into the watch. Um, we have a 316L stainless steel case. Try to get this to focus in a little bit better. There we go. 316L stainless steel case. 43 millimeters from 10 to 4. And a, uh, a significant dial opening that measures right around 36 millimeters. So it's going to, to give a, a slightly larger appearance on the wrist. Uh, it did not measure the lug to lug yet, um, but I will make sure that that is in the, the written portion. So definitely check that out. Um, on the non-crown side of the case, we've got a, a nice placard. Um, a lot of people consider this over-branding. This is actually kind of, in my opinion, it's kind of cool. Um, it's, it's screwed into the case. Very neat model and, and the number of the watch. The crown side, yeah, this is a push-pull crown. has the, um, the Torgoan uh, logo in, in the cabochon. So you can see that. Is a is definitely a cabochon, and very uh, the crown is very easy to grasp and uh, maneuver. There's no um, no play, no wiggle. There's no grinding when winding the movement and so forth. Very nicely done. Uh, this particular model is um, I would call it, I'm going to say it's a cream dial, but some will probably say it's yellow. Um, it, it's kind of a muted yellow. Um, very nice look. Markers are all brown, which matches the dial really, really well. Um, as you can see, there's loom markers surrounding the dial. You'll have to check out the written review to, to check out the loom shots because um, it lights up pretty well. Looks like it's C3 loom based on the color and, and the intensity, at least initially. Um, Targoan branding uh, below the 12 and above the 6 date window uh, just to the left of the four and um, as you can see uh, it's an automatic but it is also Swiss made so we'll get into the movement here in a little bit because you're probably wondering well what movement did they did they choose to use first the strap is a really nice uh, Italian leather stitch strap Lots of sizing holes, so um, you're not going to have a problem wearing this, I, I would say, uh, on my 7 and 3 quarter inch wrist. I think I'm on the third hole, so I've got at least two, two more notches to, to size up, or I can size down quite a bit. Straps obviously branded like you would expect on the back. And a very, very cool heavy-duty stainless steel buckle and you can see it's it's signed with the, the Torgoan name um, just looks really really nice it is a spring bar buckle so it's easy to to swap out if you want to put a different buckle on two keepers which is which is great uh, for this type of strap so Swiss made automatic so let's look at the movement let's look at the case back first as you can see with the case back, uh, it's a screwing case back, 
and uh, it has some similarities or reminds me of, of some of the, um, the TAG 500 meter uh, automatic um, aqua racers as far as the way it looks at least you know in this in this area here um, something that's really really cool um, is the the actual crystal on the back has uh, specification information actually set into um, the crystal I don't know if that's just a laminate that's un that's attached underneath the crystal um, it doesn't appear that it's on the it's not on the outside so I'm assuming it is it is um, attached underneath and there you go look at the great looking movement that um, that actually is housed in this watch uh, a very nice it's either a PVD or a gunmetal uh, rotor that's that's branded with Targon and Swiss and it's got the the jewels of the movement if I can get in there to get that but you can see 25 joules maybe Swiss made kinda looks like an ETA 2824 rotor but it's not uh, Torgoen chose to um, uh, partner with Valenvron which is a uh, Swiss automatic movement company and um, they have put that in, in this particular watch I believe this is the Valenvron 24. Valenvron does have a website, so you can you can definitely go to I think it's Valenvron.com, and you can go read up uh, a little bit about the movement. There's not a lot of information, but um, they are Swiss-made movements, and um, the the accuracy has been great. It's been uh, as expected, and pretty much what I would you know expect out of an ETA 2824, and um, just looks fantastic. The price point on this particular model um, is, I believe, seven ninety five. There are three other um, versions of the of the T thirty two. There's a another stainless case, I believe, with a black dial, and then there's two PVD case uh, models as well. And the PVD cased models, I believe, jump up. Um, I want to say to eight eight and a quarter I believe um, but um, I'd like to congratulate uh, Torgoen on their first auto automatic uh, pilot watch they did a great job it looks fantastic uh, lots of quality uh, materials Swiss made Swiss automatic movement and um, I just look forward to seeing what else they have coming uh, again thank you for watching this video and please uh, follow the link below the video and go check out the written review as I'll have, again, some, some information in there, some measurements that, that I didn't cover here, um, as well as some loom shots and so forth that you can see. Uh, again, thank you for, for watching.